Hey y'all, sorry. Shit tripped out. She should be coming back in. Okay, we're back. What happened? I don't know. I landed back on. <laughs> like, drop. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Can you see me okay? Mine was yeah, falling. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Awesome. But, um, yeah, so, uh, what were we saying? So, who in here has a business? I feel like that's number one. Who wants to start a business? Like, what do you guys do? Because I'm sure that they know all of your different brands, but they might follow you for different reasons. So oh, wait, um, can you, did you give your intro? Cause I want them to know like, Oh yeah. What you've um, done. Yeah. So, Hey guys, it's Laurel Lane, um, founder of the social sales lab, which is an online program where I teach CEOs how to grow sales using Facebook and Instagram ads. But I come from the media side. So I worked in TV for my whole career. Television commercials is what I did. So my job was to put people on TV, put TV commercials together, put them on national television and advertise. So it's just TV advertising was my thing. And because of that, I was able to help so many huge corporations grow their sales that now I translated that over to social media hey Monique so um yeah I mean helped everyone from MTV NBC um the radio with Comcast and Clear Channel just a lot of you know the Viacom that had the BET net have BET networks and Nickelodeon and a lot of that cool stuff but I've realized that we don't have to spend 10 20 million dollars on TV ads to be successful. Like all the smaller companies can have a bite. We can have a market, you know, where we grow our businesses too using this, just social media. But you gotta advertise, you have to pay to play. And with like $5, $10 a day, people are out here really just making sales, growing their businesses and then putting it back in and building huge, huge companies. So I'm excited because, oh, hey, Brian. Yeah, because even from a really small, tiny business that's just starting to get up and going mm -hmm. to a big company that's looking to grow, everybody is right here on social media. So this is how we linked up. Um, I think it was when I was in L.A. last year, the year before. I don't know. But I was mm -hmm. out there for work. And it's just amazing. It's, it's really exciting to see what this Facebook and IG ads can do. Hey, Justerica, for... It doesn't matter, like, whether you have an idea, whether you have a little business that you think, oh, ain't nobody going to buy from my little store or whatever. No, you're wrong. You have to be on here or else there's so much money being left on the table. Facts. Um, so she's that girl, period. FYI, just so you know, <laughs> she's that girl. And she has definitely helped my businesses scale up. Um, that's probably why you don't see me going crazy with the posts. Um, she was able to show me and teach me how to do it. Not just like go in and, hey, I'll do it for you and you don't need to, no. Not She's all about showing you hands-on how to do it yourself. So you know how your business is moving, you know how to scale it up, you know how to analyze it, you know how to go in the back office and figure everything out. And so that's what yes. she done for me. And um, yeah, like you would think that um, you have to have like so many followers for your business to do well. And that's not, not true. I think that's a misconception um, yeah. on social media. And for people that want to start a business and feel like they don't have enough of a following, trust me, like it's, it's people on here that have so many followers and it doesn't even match up to their sales. Oh my so God. It, don't, it don't be about that. And there are some some people that don't have that many followers and their, their sales are through the roof. Mm -hmm. um, it's all about knowing the business and what to do. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what she's here for. And let's talk about that for a second because it's, it's still kind of like I'm getting used to it, but to talk about myself, you know, it could be kind of like, 
awkward. No, but go, go. there's so many people that I work with personally behind the scenes that have huge influence. So one of my clients or students has 18 million followers, so I won't reveal his name. One has 6.2 million followers. She's dope. Um, so many have, you know, multi-millions or half a million or whoever. And you would never believe that that is no, it has no relation to like the sales that they get in their businesses. So you can be an influencer and have a business and still be like, oh shit, like what am I doing now? You know, how am I supposed to grow these sales? Just because they follow me doesn't mean they're going to buy from me all right off the bat. Or maybe they do buy from you in that first like stint, you know, your first launch. And then you're kind of like, okay, now what? So then there's people who come to me and they only have a few hundred, a few thousand, whatever. And they're killing it right away because they follow step by step. Here's what you have to do to run successful social media ads. And it's not about how much money you have. It's not about how many followers you have. You could do this. So like that whole swipe up thing, people are going crazy trying to get like 10,000 followers just so they can have a swipe up. You could pay Facebook five or ten dollars and have a swipe up on your ad. And that ad will only go to people who even want to buy anyway. So it's right. like just getting to know the back office is so important. And a lot of people aren't even familiar. They have no clue. Yeah. Retargeting. Um, I think one of the things that was like a aha moment, like, oh, damn. It's first of all, Instagram could be gone tomorrow. So being able to own your audience um, with the mailing list, with yeah. adding the pixel to your website from Facebook so it can, um, what's the word? Retarget and capture everybody. Yeah, so it can capture your, um, the people that are visiting your website. Um, those things are important. Making sure that you have a home for your customers, taking them from yes. Instagram and taking them to your website. You need to take advantage of that. Do not overlook, okay, I'm just going to use social media. I'm just going to use my Instagram because oh my God. Instagram gets like, what are you going to do? You want right. to take advantage. Cool. Great. Give me all them followers. Retarget. Let me yep. bring them home and let me own. Yes. 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 Do any of you guys uh, drop the word pixel if you know about the pixel? Because before you run any ads or even before you do anything uh, like that, you need to have the pixel on your site. So if you don't have the Facebook pixel on, what that's going to do is allow you to track everybody like she said. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what you sell. I see a few questions here like, what if I do this? What if I do that? Whether it's exposing your music, and we'll talk about that probably on the next slide, mm -hmm. whether it's... Um, you know, building an online store, whether it's coaching or whether you have, I mean, we could go on and on. There's so many different types of businesses. You need to have the pixel on because what that's going to do is allow you to get back in front of everybody who's been on your Instagram, who's been on your Facebook, who's watched any of your videos. So all these people have already shown interest in you and now you could sell to them. But most people, they don't even, they don't even know. So if you know, if you, um, oh, I see a bunch of pixels in here. Yeah, so if you know about the pixel, where'd I go? Okay. If you know about the pixel, drop pixel. If you don't know about the pixel, say, what is that? Because these are like simple things. Yes, you can put it on your blog. You can put it on your website. How do I get and the someone pixel? Someone said so they work for death want, huh? someone, someone says they have an... Uh, they do something with Def Jam and it helps with the sales for artists. It does, absolutely. Oh. With music. That's what and that's what record yes. labels do. Record labels put ads out for the artists. How do you think the yep. streams happen and the video views? It's it's the same thing. It's all a business. Oh, it doesn't phone matter phone. what you're selling. It's all a business. The business structure yep. is the same for everything. The record yep. labels are selling music and artist it goes the same way yeah you have to have it you have to have it on so if you guys um want to know what it is how do i put it on like what's going on with this if you go to the link in my bio i have a free like download that you can have. actually i'm gonna give them the link okay okay perfect so yeah i'm gonna, gonna give you guys. guys the link she'll give it to you guys yeah, so the pixel is super simple. So basically what it's going to do 
is allow you to track everybody that comes to your website. Mm -hmm. All right. So anybody that comes to your website, you're going to want to get back in front of them with ads, whether it's $5, $10, whatever you sell to get back. Because a lot of people think, oh, my God, this is going to be so hard to get in front of a whole bunch of new people. No. All you have to do is even just capture the low hanging fruit. So everyone that's already interested in you, that's been on your website, that has, um, that has been on your Instagram, been on your Facebook, that has seen any of your videos, did you guys know that you could get back in front of them and you could sell to them? Yeah, you got you to gotta be the plug. Give them the, give them the link so they could get all the tea because this is exactly what Lola does, y'all. And then yeah. guess what happens? Now she doesn't have to go crazy and be posting all the time. I don't know if that's what you were even doing, but like posting all the time and going crazy. Oh my God, my launch, my this, my that. She has ads just running for her now. Yeah. Doing that work for you. So think about social media ads really just being like people out there selling for you 24 seven. Right, because what time does Facebook and Instagram close? Never. Never. <laughs> and Never. if anybody in here has a company that, or a business that had to shut down because of COVID, or that you had to change, whatever that looks like, you know, I know a lot of people um, that I work with had like salons and, you know, barbershops and stuff like that. Now online, that's all you have to be, is have an online presence. It's so important. Yeah, right now, like with everything that's going on, they're trying to make everything be online. So don't exactly. don't don't fall for like the the fear and everything they're trying to put on us. Right. Just pay attention, lock into it, and maneuver. You know what I mean? Utilize this time. Exactly. Okay, cool. That's what y'all on. I'm gonna create my own businesses and I'm gonna go right on um go right online with it. Exactly. And then you don't have to do so much work. Right. So I know we had some questions, though, because you guys were submitting questions when it comes to how to jumpstart my business, whether you are brand new, whether you have been doing this for a minute, if you run Facebook or Instagram ads, because they do go together, put that in here. If you don't, let us know, too, because we have some questions that people submitted. Um... Oh, I like these because some of these probably are good for you too, since you are very like key. Do you need the link? Yeah. Let me send it to you. You have the one that I did? Yeah. Okay. Um, and let's pull up some of those questions. Cause some like for you to be such like a high paced, fast paced entrepreneur. Um, I think it's important for them to understand that too. Like who has time to just start up new businesses and then figure out what to do all the time to get. Yeah. Sales? This is what you have to do. So, um, I don't even know. So okay. somebody said they run Instagram ads. This is the thing, right? Uh, right. And I'm going to tell you from experience. I've ran ads on Instagram. I've ran ads on Facebook. If everybody could run ads, um, if there was only one way to run ads and everybody knew how to do it, then everybody would be successful. Like everybody's sales would go through the roof. There is a science to it. You know what I mean? So you're yep. going in and um, doing booths or just saying, okay, I'm going to do $10 a day or $30 a day. Sometimes that when you don't see the ROI in it, it's because it's not being done the right way. Exactly. And so once I got with her and she showed me the science and exactly how to do it, my sales started going up. So knowledge exactly you need expertise you know what i mean you need expertise on it um i think that's one of the reasons why i've been able to um create different businesses and be a mom and do my music um i have the understanding that i don't know everything and there are sciences to different aspects of the business and i do need to pull certain people in to show me how to do certain things so that I can remove that from my plate. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah, ROI is return on investment. Yeah. 
It's meaning that if you are out here selling something and you want to put in $10 to make a sale, and let's say your sale equals $150, that's your ROI. You put in 10 to make 150. I don't know what the hell is going on with my thing. Why it keeps falling? Yes. Thank you guys. Y'all said return on investment. Return on investment. Boom. So what about these questions right here? So let's see. We have some good ones that were submitted. Just anything about if you have a question regarding how to jumpstart your business or how to grow the business that you have. So someone said, um, there was this one that I liked. Uh, what are some ways to market and model the products on your own with a low budget? Oh, that's perfect. Oh, you can get really creative. Just get creative. Don't feel like um, you need a big budget for that kind of stuff. Like I said, mm -hmm. when I first started, I tried to go there. And I tried to create this whole production. And people don't really care. They don't care. They just want to be able to relate. They just mm -hmm. want to be able to feel like, oh, okay, I feel that. I, I get it. I can connect. So right. think of ways that you can connect with people with the products make it mm -hmm. real always be authentic and um just get creative utilize social media for sure um yes. but definitely don't put the pressure on yourself like you need this big budget um for to create content um oh my god and then what i love right is that when it comes to social media you don't have to create a bunch of like a lot of people think you got to create a bunch of content and constantly put it out there that's yeah. not true you told me that you told me that because um, I was I was getting ready to put out an ad on Vegan Goddess, and I said, "Well, you know, I have I have these old pictures, and I have like the um, well, it's not even old in my mind. It's old because I want to create new content, right?" Um, and she's like, "No, you don't." I'm like, "I want to do a new shoot for it," and she's like, "No, I'm not do a new shoot for it. You can keep using the same thing because even though we're retargeting your customers or." The people that might have came in and put stuff in a cart and then left and things like yep. that we're also going to be shooting for people that has never have never seen your brand before so right still new customers right so you don't have to keep creating content utilize what you have as well if it worked right and so you guys don't have to do that like if you have a piece of content that already did well or that you know would kill it just put it on an ad on instagram or facebook and it's not the boosting. Like, don't do the boosting where you click the promote button. That's not what we're talking about. You have a real back office behind the scenes that allows you to do so much more. And that's what we're referring to. So just put some money behind it, just a real small amount, like they were saying, with a low budget, and let it run and get in front of new people all the time. And so that same piece of content, now you're sitting back working on more important things in your business, and it's constantly selling for you bringing in more people all the time oh they're asking for the link so yeah what i was how, um, how do i put the link in without because it's on this phone or should um, i just put, should i add it when we get off the live yeah do that or can you add it in there it's not gonna stay i think you can just comment on it like can you come on your live on yours and then comment and just pin it i can't i can't because I can't put it, it's in this phone. Let me see. Do you have it on that phone? <laughs> I just sent it to you on my computer. <laughs> oh. Hold on, can I pin? Yeah, you can pin. I don't know. I don't know. If or I just pin. add it and then I'll pin. Do you have it on there? She's freezing. Oh, okay. You're right. Hold on. It, it's, oh, shit. She got to come back in. Okay, she put it in. How do I pin it, y'all? Oh, okay. Pin comment. Okay. 
Okay, she's coming back in. So I just pinned it. It works. Oh, I'm back. Okay. So yeah, guys, go there. And we'll also post it. You can post it when we post this later. Yeah, we'll post but it. you're gonna get everything if you want to know about the pixel, if you want to know about Facebook ads, like I'm just I'm dropping it in here. Thanks, Brand. Hey Brandy. Yeah. So uh, um, whatever you guys want to know, put that on tonight. Like when we get, get off of this, y'all need to just go watch it. Go watch the video. And hey Sephora. It. Hey everybody. Okay, what other questions did we have? Let's see. Somebody said I'm gonna just <laughs> You wanna just hold. I don't know. All right. What? Yeah, I'm literally just going to hold it. Um, so people talking about a business plan. Ooh, I like this one. How many times a day should you post or promote? Okay. So when you run, <laughs> I feel like they're going to get tired of me. When you run ads, you don't need to do that at all. You actually don't need to post multiple times a day. You don't need to um, promote all day and like tell so-and-so and, -so and and go on stories and post on the feed and go on Facebook and Instagram and email and network. Like there's so many things that you probably spend so much time wasting your time on when all you have to do is put up an ad and let it do the work for you. It's simple. So, and yeah, I saw somebody talk about Snapchat ads pop in. We're about to do TikTok ads, Google ads, but the easiest and most like low budget to start with is this Instagram and Facebook ads. And Facebook. Because mm -hmm. everybody's on here. Facebook. And Facebook knows everything about everybody. Yeah. So you can talk about something and you're going to see it in your feed. Yeah. But if you have something to sell, if you have something to promote, whether it be like we said, music or a service or a product, whatever that looks like, a blog, shoot, it doesn't matter. Your audience is on here and they're on here consuming content all day long. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're going to post it, guys. It's pinned. So, Sade says, what about access to capital, money, moolah? Right. So, like, if you wanted to invest, oh, my God, there's so many business loans out there right now. So many grants going out there. PayPal um, has PayPal credit. Um the SBA, the SBA loans. I don't know if you guys took advantage of the SBA loans, but they oh my god, them. yes. And then um, I did a live a few, a, a couple months back, with an attorney that I work with, and he was doing the PPP loans, and yes, that was just recently shut down. But definitely take advantage of like some of these loans. Oh my god, and and, yes. and invest it, use it wisely. You know what I mean? Right. Utilize it and definitely invest it, and um. Yeah, the ads is, it really helps. Um, it helps you to raise capital for your own business. Yeah. It helps you make money so that you can pour it back into your own business. I mean, that's the point. If you're not using these funds to make more money, to essentially flip, to put back and pour, like you said, back into your business, I mean, you're just, it's, it's gonna be a waste. So everybody definitely monetize what you have for those of you who weren't on earlier um you don't need a big following you don't need a whole bunch of time you don't need a big budget all you have to do is put like one or two pieces of really dope content up and it can be super authentic like it doesn't everybody thinks they have to do this big production all the time you can hold your phone up and show your product and just be like and yeah. there's so many filters and apps and like stickers and gifs and that Koi Koi app or whatever it's called where it makes it all sparkly. Like there's so many things that you can do to get creative. And have fun with it. Like you got to enjoy, you got to enjoy the process. Whatever you do, whatever business you get into, you got to love it. If you don't love it, then don't do it. And you got to right. enjoy the process because that's the only way that you're going to get through the ups and downs of it. You know, right. Um, you're, you'll be able to take a challenge and find a different solution for it. You know, you won't get stuck and you know, you're gonna have your moments where you're frustrated and all that, but definitely have fun with it. Yes. And like we said earlier, the mindset is key. Mindset. But 
I would say just for like very first steps. So if anybody had a question like, well, what do I do to get started? Take that link that she pinned, go there, and I break it all out for you. So it's a free class. You can go in and check it out. Um, or, you know, next time we can even address some more questions too. Um, but anything to do with Facebook or Instagram ads, because as y'all know, it's together. So Facebook owns Instagram. And when you run ads using what I say, Facebook ads, it's still going to be on Instagram as well. Mm -hmm. So um, is there a time frame during the day I should start running ads? Oh, I like that question. So I guess it would really, um, it would depend on what you sell. But for the most part, I would say when you start off, just put it out there and see what time people are responding to your ad. So if you see yeah. you're getting a lot of traffic or a lot of sales during a certain period of time, let the numbers tell you first before you go and you decide. Because sometimes we may think, oh, everybody's on at night or whatever. And in reality, your audience might be on in the morning. Mm -hmm. So don't kind of take over too much. Let Facebook and Instagram do its thing because they know everything about everybody. They are listening and you can use that to your advantage. So let them kind of, they, they got it. Just put your content on there. Yeah. Somebody said, how do I make an ad? That's what she's here for. Click the link that I just pinned and it is a free webinar. Mm -hmm. So tap into that free webinar. It gets the information. <laughs> Mine said, I am not for hire. She tried that too. Hey, bro. Google no, like you have somebody well. that's going to teach you how to do it. What? That's that's the best oh way to go about it. Like you can hire somebody or somebody can teach you how to do it. And then you can implement that in your business today or 10 years from now. You know and, what I mean? And it doesn't have to be whatever business you do now. I work with so many people just like everybody in here who come in because they have one business. And they're like, oh, my God, I just wish or I just wanted to grow like this or like that and we do it together and then all of a sudden they copy and paste to so many different businesses yeah. and they're like oh i have a blueprint perfect like all i have to do is plug and play so give you the blueprint that's basically yeah i don't believe in you know just doing stuff for people and then they have no idea what needs to get done and then they spend so much time and money trying to figure it out right it's 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 awful. And then so many people are out here really robbing folks because they know that they don't know what they're doing. So at the very least, do it until you can, like, you know, really come up. And then you can always hire somebody if you mm -hmm. wanted to later down the road when it becomes too much. But you don't need more than, like, 20, 30 minutes a day to go in. It's just like if you were to go into your Shopify and check how your sales are doing for the day. It's the same thing. Check your ads and see how they're doing for the day. What kind of sales is it bringing you? And when you first start off your business, you want to know every part of your business. Oh, yeah. You don't want to just, like, bring people in and then, hey, you do this and you do that part. Hey, I, I don't know nothing about it. You want to know. I want to know every part of my business. I want to know how it functions. I want to yep. know, like, because at the end of the day, it's your business. So everything mm -hmm. falls on you. So if somebody just dips out on you, you're going to be left like not knowing nothing. And then oh my God. Do, how you going to keep how you going to keep it functioning. So you want to know That's every aspect of it. If somebody is there to teach you, learn. Take yes. It yes. Somebody said something really important. They said, um, oh, thanks, Sephora. She helps you throughout the program, too. We love Laura. Thank you, guys. What business have you seen be the most successful by running ads? Okay. So literally, as long as what you're selling is legal, you can be successful <laughs> selling anything. So I say like no gun, sex, or violence on um, Facebook, but that's really up to Zuck. Like I, he don't pay me, so whatever they allow now. But I personally have digital products. I sell physical products. I have services, coaching, e-commerce, like you name it. Um, Chris has a trucking business, you know, car shipping. Like we've done everything. And then the hundreds of members inside the program have all spectrums like online stores brick and mortars bakeries salons spas lashes eyebrows um photography real estate oh my god from like the smallest cheapest items to the hugest highest ticket services it doesn't matter it's not about like oh will this work or like you know well how do i know that this is right is your audience on facebook and instagram 
that's like up to you to answer. And if so, then yes, you need to be advertising on here. Yeah. Because this goes into another question. Somebody asked, like, do ads on here have an algorithm? Yes. So every four to five posts, when you scroll on your feed, I don't care if it's Facebook or Instagram, it's an ad. So they're paying for that spot. You're paying to make sure, guarantee that people see your ad. So if you just post, that's 10% of your audience that might see it. So when you pay five or 10 dollars a day, you're making sure that the right people are seeing your content mm -hmm. and the people who are actually interested in buying. Yo, That's listen, the difference. Listen. This is how I know how I know that works. Like I'll go on Google. Let's say like I plan on buying something, right? I'll go on Google. I'll know that all I have to do is search a couple times and I'm going to start getting ads on yeah. my Instagram. So I'll search it a couple times on Google and I'll say, oh, it's going to pop up. I'm going to yeah. find different stores that sell it. Yeah. And it happens that way. So that's how I know it works. It's crazy. And now, not to get too deep, but with Alexa and the Googles, like we have both in here and it, I don't know how they do it or what they do, but sometimes you don't even have to be searching stuff. <laughs> and you'll come on here and you're like, oh shit. Like, mm -hmm. did they hear me? You know? And yeah. so... Whatever that looks like, though, we have to start when it comes to mindset. I'm always trying to train my people like now get on the other side. You have to be a marketer because if you want to sell anything, even if you just have an idea in your head, you have to be able to know how to sell it. And all it is is marketing. And if you have something that you're on here spending all your time on anyway, why aren't you using it to make money in your business? That's that's what kind of like throws right. me off. That's So y'all have some good questions. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I've been struggling coming out with my brand name. Any tips or advice? Ooh, that one could be for you, Lola. Brand name? and it makes you a hundred dollars then why would you stop the only time you will really stop is if you can no longer handle like the capacity right so if you're selling something and you run out of inventory yes like you're gonna have to turn it off or if you provide a service and you can't handle any more clients yes turn it off but for the most part your ads should just really stay on um brand names right so the way i came up with my brand names like persuasions i so i'm a brand myself lola is a brand and i wanted to make sure that all the different business that i have is cohesive with me as a brand because they're just an extension of me and so i had to right. figure out okay what is authentic to me it all go for me it always goes back to what's authentic to me because i don't want to ever present anything to people that isn't true to me because People know, right. and I'm not even comfortable with that. So I love cats. I'm into black cats and, and the feline. I, am, I feel like I am a feline, right? Um, my logo is, my Queen Row logo is the black cat with the eyes. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, cool. What kind of clothing do I want to sell? Um, I definitely want it to be sexy. Um, I wanted to have that aesthetic, like that real feminine aesthetic, which is like a feline. I'm like, okay, think of words that have to do with that. You got yep. the meow and you got the, pers uh, I thought of persuasions. I feel like persuasions is a sexy word, yep. but I just made sure like the beginning was like purr, like a cat. And then yep. I worked with my um, graphic designer, which I've been with for, for years, Ashanti, shout out to her. She does like my, all my graphics and um, my website. And we were like brainstorming and I'm like, okay, let's do a cat, like a, a cat scratch, you know? So I yes. feel like um, I'm really, really hands-on with creative and imagery with my stuff. Cause I'm independent artist. I'm like, you know, everything, is me, 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 and I'm like super obsessive with it. Um, so it's just being cohesive and staying true to you. 
you know, and what that. message you're putting out and what, what's the vibe that you want to put out. Yeah. And you, I feel like the only way to be consistent with that is if it aligns with you organically. Yeah. But it does. Like, everything that you put out, I feel like it it looks like you. It feels like you. Yeah. Um, and Ashanti did the vegan goddess stuff, too, right? Yeah, she did vegan goddess. I love um, that. She did Queen Rose. She did Persuade. She does all my logos, like. My team, I have like a set team of people that have been with me for a while. I believe in that. And um, yeah, she does my website. She does all that shit. She's, she's amazing. I love her. I love it. I love it. The vegan goddess stuff is to die for. Not just the product, but the brand and everything. It's just so you. I love how the gold and the green, like, yeah. it's definitely one of those things that when you put it out there, it's going to be like cat debating right away yeah. you thank know what you. i mean thank you yeah so, thank you i'm excited um yeah your ads i'm just so excited they are so dope um you did a great job you know what i love about you i love how you like you are so open to learn anything like you're like no just pull like teach me i no don't do mm -mm. i want to see how this how yeah this works. i want to see like show me how to do it because <laughs> i, I want to learn like I want to learn. Listen, I'm like, I feel like right now, I don't know if you can, because I'm, I'm still kind of new um, as far as like uh, being like a serial entrepreneur, but that's, I'm going for that. And in order to be that, I need to learn. Like, I need to know all this stuff. I know I can't nice. do every single job. That's like what you hire people for. You have people in place to do those things. But I definitely want to learn, you know? Yes, yes. I like love that. Y'all need, need to watch videos. Y'all need to find... Um, everybody can't get a mentor to be over top of them and show them things hands-on. Mm -hmm. um, especially where we from. You, you can't just get mentors. But what we do have now is information. We got YouTube. We got books. We got all that stuff. Um, any moment that you get, instead of watching shit that does nothing for you and does nothing for your spirit use that time to find people that um are experts in the field that you're trying to get into and mm -hmm. tap in get the audio books i go to sleep sometimes listening to well most of the time i go to sleep listening to um certain vib vibrational beats but other times i'll watch things so that it's playing in my subconscious mind yes you know what i mean so it's like important yeah. You got to you got to deal with yourself first before you get into these businesses and make sure that at every moment you are feeding yourself, mm -hmm. whatever way it is, from mm -hmm. your diet to your mind, because it's oh all God. the same thing. Like you have your second brain in your gut. You know what I mean? So I was it's like just talking that, about this yeah, the food that you're putting in that also helps you in making certain decisions, what mm -hmm. you put into your body that also counts. So. Yeah. Yeah. And I think one other really important thing to share with them when it comes to, you know, like growing your business or sales or jump starting your business is that when it comes to ads, the whole reason why I even chose this route, because again, I don't work for Facebook and Instagram. Like I don't, the reason why I'm using this to fuel my, my business is because it gives me freedom. And at the end of the day, like before this whole COVID stuff, I was with my family 24 seven. We traveled a lot. I mean, obviously, I still am with them. But even pre-COVID, like, this is what I did because everything is running online systematically, 24 hours a day. You know, people are coming into my business learning and buying on a daily basis consistently on all the businesses. And it's all from just running ads. Because I yeah. could be sitting here posting all day, all day, but that doesn't have the same impact. And then if you don't have a lot of followers, you know, it, it can really alter the way that you see results in your business and a lot of people they fight so hard to get all these followers and then it still doesn't do anything you can have 200 followers you want to add boom so you know there's a difference and i personally for me like i value freedom to be able to get yes. out and go to be able to sleep when i want to be able to not report to anybody to be able to do whatever i want all times a day if i yeah. want to take a week off i know that we're still out here generating income and making money because our businesses are set we have a yeah. system that sells it online 24 hours. And I see a lot of people in here do real estate. I'm also licensed in real estate. And it was only because I saw so many people killing it when they were learning um, ads in my program that I was like, 
what is that? If there's ever a new opportunity, you know, like the Forex thing I'm gonna do with you, like anything, if I know that it can grow using this online space, I already have the blueprint. So all you have to do is copy and paste. And that's yeah. what I love. My members, they don't play. They're like, okay, you got definitely, the You definitely gave me a perspective um, when you came into my business and really, because at times you can get overwhelmed when you have a lot of things on your plate, like I do. Yes. Um, from just being a mom, super mom, like yes. hands on with my yes. child, and do homeschooling to being an artist and making my music, and then having like three different businesses I'm working on. Oh my God. I had to make it make sense because I'm not the only person that does this and is, is, is super successful. People have done this and have been extremely successful as they add on new businesses. So right. I feel like, okay, there's a way to do this. I, I watch people. I study successful people. Right. How do they do it? They work smart. They don't work hard. We're oh taught to work hard. We're taught to exchange our yes. time for money. And that's not how it goes. So you coming in is like, okay, listen, this is how you can place your business and make sure that it continues to grow and scale up and make money yep. without constantly having to post, 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 do this kind of marketing, do that kind of marketing. And it is important to do all kinds of marketing, of course, for your businesses, but running ads, every and company run ads, every successful company, company that you see yes. runs ads, including music labels. You yep. know what I mean? So I'm telling y'all right now, if you're on this call, you're on, well, on this live, you're on this live for a reason, whether you're just now about to start a business, been thinking about it, but you've been nervous because you're like, okay, I don't know my following. I don't know how many right. customers and all that shit. I'm telling y'all right now, it's a way to work smart how all these um, other companies have built up and really attack. You can do it. So whether you are thinking about starting a business, already started a business and it hasn't been doing that good or it's been doing good and you're trying to scale up, this is for you. And it yep. doesn't matter what you're trying to sell. And just go learn. Like, like she said, be resourceful. I mean, you know, I had to, I remember when I first hired my first mentor, coach, whatever, like, I remember I had to ask for money from a family member. I, I'll ask for an investment because I knew I wanted to take this seriously and I wanted to, you know, and so I had to become resourceful. But before that, what? I used to spend nights up like a hawk just watching free webinars and free classes and signing up for stuff and downloading stuff and just trying to watch, you know, as much information as possible mm -hmm. to give me that clarity. So I think that's important too, is just to have a good idea of like where you want to go and then do what you have to do to get there. So right. there is, uh, she said, I don't know how I got on this live, but I'm glad. I'm glad you're on here too. They said, where are your bracelets from? There, yeah, yo, you know what's funny, guys? This is actually Persuasions, but this is the first I knew ones. It. That, these are the first ones that, I don't know, did I put these out? But this is the collection, the first collection I ever put out that did not do good. What? Y'all were not rocking with it. Y'all was not feeling it. But that, that's the whole up. thing. <laughs> no, that's the whole thing. Like, I had to go back and understand who my customers were and what kind of products that they would like. And when I went back to the drawing board, I understood, okay, they want they want the shiny, the the glitter, the you know what I mean? They want right. all that. And right. it worked. And you know what's so dope? Like Instagram and Facebook, how we always talk about, oh, like they're listening to us, whatever. They're literally watching everything that we do. So whenever you like a page on Facebook or Instagram, they mm -hmm. capture that information. And so mm -hmm. they put you like in a bucket. Whenever you watch certain videos about, let's say, makeup they know now that you are into makeup. So they're going to put you in that bucket. So just like they do that with us, they do that with everybody. So if you are selling, you know, like custom jewelry, right, you can easily sell it to people online because Facebook and Instagram, they already have that information. Who is buying custom jewelry right now? So all you got to do is say, well, I'm selling custom jewelry. Here, put me right. in front of these people. So it's just so much easier than people make it out to be. 
so much. I started off with three products. Yep, we started with three, with one. And then, um, oh, what I was gonna say too is like, how you keep on starting new businesses and like launching successful businesses, you have to let them know you're not just starting from scratch every time. Now you right. have a blueprint that you can copy and paste to all your businesses because you know mm -hmm. it'll sell. You know, so that's what it does for you. These people are so funny. So like, if I was to, and I have like, I have so many ideas in my brain. I have so many things that I want to do and I want to start. I can approach it now with um, more confidence as far as with my time and what I can do because I, yes. I've already been taught the blueprint that I just have to, I take that and I copy and paste. Okay, cool. New business, new product. I'll take that and then I'll put it out this way yep. and then it's going to bring in the yep. customers for this. Exactly. Exactly. You have your team in place. It's set. It's done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My team is in place. Quarantine, place. quarantine been good to me. <laughs> I see. Um, what other questions before we wrap up? Because I want to be able to not get cut off. You know, it cuts off at an hour. Yeah. Um, Do y'all um, have any questions on here? Anybody in here in fashion? Like, what do you guys do for business? I saw some real estate. Um, I saw a bunch of stuff earlier. I can't remember now. What do you do when you have a limited budget? You have to, like she said earlier, you have to get creative. You yeah, have, you to, have get to create, get creative. See what, like, you got to put out a list. Always write things down. Get things out mm -hmm. of your head. Um, write things down. What are important? What are your important goals? What do you really want to achieve with with the business? Um, yeah and then allocate a budget for that. Yes, yes. Oh, are definitely get creative. Uh -huh. You don't have to have like a, well, depending on what you're selling. Um, I don't know what kind of inventory you might have or what you're looking to, to do, but definitely start small. Don't, if you can start small with a thing, if you have like a really big idea and it's like a really big product that might require a large amount of money, Think about like work backwards and think about, okay, where can I start? Is there somewhere that I can start that's smaller, but it'll lead me down to that path? Yeah. You know, rationalize with yourself and really be open-minded um, and do it that way. It's okay to start small. So it's okay to pace yourself up. But you have you know? to start somewhere. You got to start I mean, somewhere. People always want to get to a hundred. Like it's not zero to a hundred, it's zero to 10 to 20 to 50 to a mm -hmm. hundred. You know, so they said, what's the first step? So the first step is if you want to jumpstart your business, click the link that she put down there because you'll be able to have a free class, completely free. Just go through it, get as much, soak up as much knowledge as you can and decide what you want to do and how you want to do it. And the whole thing is implement, like take action right away. Because the worst part is when we have all these amazing ideas that we keep in our head and we don't execute and we don't act on them and then years pass by and then you see somebody else like doing the same damn and thing you mad as hell. What? one thing you don't ever want to walk around with is regret and resentment on yourself so if you have an idea right now is a good time to just go for it just execute just do it yep oh you guys are dope I do merch. Someone does trucking. There's an yeah, I'll, I'll the put building. the um. Somebody said, "Will it?" They can't click it on. Click on it right now. I'm still. I'm gonna yeah. have a story. After we get off, it'll be in my story. Yes, esthetician, yoga, event bartender. I'm oh. actually going to put um a link in my bio. So when oh, you perfect. go to my link tree, it'll be up there. I'll add it awesome. to my bio. Um, oh, she's blessing y'all. Because this free class is not about to be free for long. She said, how do y'all feel about paying an influencer for promo? Um, I think it depends on your product. I feel like the most important thing, so I deal with this all the time, right? Because I work with a lot of people in e-commerce. So if you're going to do that, just make sure that you are still running ads, even if it's a really cheap, like, low-cost budget. Because... The whole point of like paying someone to push your product is to get that audience. Sometimes it's not so much for the sales right away. Like, oh, they're going to bring me all these sales right now. Sometimes it's just, oh, they have the audience that we want. How can we bring them over? 
And so when you do that and you're running ads, it's going to automatically tag everybody. Everybody that came to your page now is going to start seeing your ads. And that's like, that's the beast in it all. It's not so much about like, oh, how many influencers can I get to pay to do it? It's about what you capture from them. Yeah, and that's influencers. That it it depends because I like I don't want to say nothing like that because I I make money from um, even though I pick and choose what products I decide to promo from the people that hit me up. Um, it just it just really really depends, like she said, on your products. And sometimes I don't get hyped up off of the number of followers someone has because mm. it doesn't always mean if they promote your products, you're going to get sales. Um, I feel like you're more guaranteed with ads because it's actually targeting the the customers that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So it just, it really, it, it varies. Yeah. And I think it's good. I'm just saying to make it better, like always have your ads set up in the background so you can yeah. just beast mode it and you can take that and make it more of a longer term situation mm -hmm. because, um, yeah, not all the time do people want sales right now, right now. It's more just about yeah. like, hey, I know that you have our audience. So I want you to promote this because we want your audience to kind of, you know, be exposed or come this way. But if you have that, that's like, you're, that's a real marketer. Like now you know what you're doing and you know how to cap capture that for a longer time versus just whenever that post is put up. Right. Y'all got some good questions, though. You can only click it in a bio. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so that's fine. I'll put it in my bio, and then I'll add it to my story when we get off. Yep, perfect. Yeah, because I don't want this to cut off. Um, but here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go live again, right, next week? Yeah. Or the week after or something like that? Yeah, I want you guys to come with questions. Like, come with more questions, because y'all ask really good questions, and this is what I'm – we want to answer your questions. Yeah, so I could DM us um, – any questions that you have, yes, me, and I'll keep it for the yes. next time. And then anything that you want to learn how to do, like now, watch that video. You can sell a book. You can sell real estate. I know that there's some um, – talk, Tina. I know that you were asking about the real estate thing. Um, they do tend to block you if you're not setting it up right. But just watch the free class. And, you know, you're going to learn so much that you're probably overthinking and I really just want you guys to get started because so many people don't even know what they're sitting on. Like a gold mine right here. Mm -hmm. um, how do I save the live? So when you come off, I think it says share to IG or something okay. like that. And then, yeah, we can do it like that. And then just post that link. Okay. Oh, damn. They said can't even. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, what happened? Like, what they say? They're like, can't click the link. We can't even click this yeah, link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going... I'm going to um, add it to my story and then add it to my bio once we get off, y'all. I promise. Awesome. Get the link. Okay, yes. guys. Make sure you send um, any more questions that you have. You can send it to the Dynasty Way um, oh, ID perfect. too. DM. Perfect. So it's like all there. Yeah. And so then, take yeah. away. Um, I think y'all should obviously watch the class, but how to jumpstart your business is obviously run ads, right? But come back next week with any questions that you have about like the next step. So watch that video and then come back with your feedback. Let us know what you're going to do now. Cause a lot of y'all sitting on ideas, sitting on um, just money, you know, and just yeah, stuck spend on money. <laughs> yeah. And y'all are stuck. So we want to help just kind of clear that up for you. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Awesome. Bye, guys. This was so Bye. fun. Bye. See you. Bye.